Hey guys, Andy here, and today we're going to look at the classic song Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. Um, this is appropriate for anyone as an absolute first riff that you learn on guitar. Um, it is quite easy to do therefore, but I do see it played kind of incorrect from the record quite a lot. So I'm going to show you the proper way to do it and a little bit of an easier way, a little trick with it, um, to make sure that absolutely everyone can play this because it's it's one that most people learn as their first riff. Um, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're not going to be using a pick as you might have done in the past. We're going to be using your first two fingers to get the sound of the record. So if you don't like using a pick, this one should be cool. Let's get you straight in for a close-up and let's see how to play it. If you'd like more of these easy riffs, do check out andyguitar.co.uk or please subscribe if you do like this lesson. Okay, Smoke on the Water. First of all, the absolute easiest way that we can play this um, is really just by using one finger. Now what I'm doing with my right hand is plucking the middle two strings, so a string, if we count the littlest one, uh, the thinnest one as number one, we're going to go one, two, three, four, three and four together with your first two fingers rather than using a pick so that we get this sound. That's exactly how we'll get the tone of the record and by sticking to those two strings if you've never done this kind of finger picking or plucking before um, it's going to help you get used to that before we go for the proper way to do it which is kind of mixing and matching both strings so first of all just the open string the middle two together and you want to try and get them both as even as you can but bear in mind that the louder you pluck them you'll probably get a better tone as opposed to being really kind of subtle with it so open and then rest your fingers to mute and then we have your first finger at the third fret which for most people would be the first dot so this is the head of the guitar fret one two three open three with your first finger and then you can slide your first finger all the way to 5th fret for the 3rd set of notes or to stay more static we can use your 3rd and little finger kind of like this together kind of like a power chord um, to play those two notes rather than moving your first finger because that's technically better technique it's higher level guitar playing or choice is yours as I say you can do it all with one finger or we can use our third and little and the tip is to keep these the third your little finger especially tied to your third so that there's no space here they kind of get strength from each other if they act as one and then we have that same thing again one two three one two but we slide one fret further, so this is 6th fret and pick 6, keep the fingers down and slide them back to 5th fret which most people find that a lot easier to do with the first finger so that's why I demoed it with my first finger in the demo earlier so from the very top just so that you get the order 1, 2, 3, 1 two, three, four. So we pick and then just keep the same pressure down and slide back. That's a lot easier to do with a lot more overdrive on it. Um, let's give that one more go from the very top. Two, three, four. One, two, pick, slide. So most of you will have got one, two, three by now. Let's just go for the second part. One, two, three, slide. That together, two, three, four. One, two, three, slide. Okay. Um, and then the third time, 
is the same as the first. So we just go one, two, three again. And then the end is your first finger flat to open. So the whole thing, well that second half, just, just to quickly demo. It's kind of like one, two, three, back, down. So fret numbers wise, zero, three, five, three, zero. And that's the whole riff. All together from the very top, two, three, four. Let me move my hand over here so I can mute the strings a little bit better. If you're choosing to do it with one finger, it's completely possible and I highly advise that you give it a go just to kind of get both ways of doing this riff. Um, the proper way to do it, the way it's played on the record, is rather than the open two strings, we start with your third and little finger the, at the fifth fret but on string five and four and we pluck those two together and you simply swap that for this now as you'll notice they sound very very similar in fact they're exactly the same notes so that's kind of the the proper way to do it as the record and if you get those first three, one, so just so you can see my fingers, one, two, three, then you should be able to kind of work out the rest of the riff because it's just that first note that's been swapped. But if certainly if you're doing this the one fingered way, and is that if this is the first time you've ever played any riff at all on, on a guitar you want to make sure that you're getting this easy way to do it first because this way is an awful lot tougher mainly because we're swapping strings that's the tricky bit about it so you want to get an even tone an even sound between all the notes rather than kind of one really loud and then some quiet and then sometimes there's only be one string ringing out we want everything ringing out as get that one sounding as good as possible on the middle two strings and then see if we can swap that first one to, to the other string. Um, and that starts the song. That repeats and repeats and repeats as all quality guitar riffs do. And until the chorus. For the chorus section, um, we have fifth fret. I'll just show you with my first finger because I think it's kind of easier to see, but you can play that with. Uh, three fingers three and four it goes smoke and just let it ring out smoke on the water that's first fret to open so five to one and open fire in the sky smoke to first fret and then back to the riff again As I tell you, if you pick it really evenly, there's very little difference between these two and these two. Now chorus one more time. Fifth fret, middle two strings. First fret, still middle two strings, to open. And then again, smoke on the water. And then straight back to the riff. Just a quick tip on the picking hand side, it's a lot easier to stop other strings ringing out and to get a more consistent kind of picking action if we rest your thumb on the thicker two strings. So we're going to rest that thumb there so that these two, doesn't matter what you do, they're not going to ring out. We're not sort of pressing it down all the way to the pick, we're just resting it on there and then you have a hand rest, a thumb rest for you 
to pluck those first two fingers. And the entire length of my forearm is all rested on, on the guitar here now, so on the body of the guitar. And you can practice kind of getting those ones ring, ringing out nice and even. If the thinner two ring out a lot, you probably want to do that muting with this side. And have your fingers maybe a little flatter. So as I'm playing these two, for example, thick, thinnest two, they're not going to ring out because my finger's just touching the string, but not the fretboard. If my finger was totally flat, if I accidentally hit another string, they're all going to ring out and I'm going to sound a bit jazz. So <laughs> have your first finger just touching the thinner two strings and that should stop uh, any other strings ringing out. Play it on to me a couple of times just to finish up. In one, two, three, four. Let's go nice and slow. time and then the chorus fifth fret smoke to first fret on the water open a fire in the sky fifth fret again smoke on the water and then the riff Thanks for checking out this lesson. Hope to see you again. Again, please subscribe or check out andyguitar.co.uk for loads more free lessons and I'm sure I'll see you again. Bye for now.